Hey y'all, it's Stacy, and I have been asked to come on here today and talk about Todd Snyder's The Devil You Know record. For me, that record is the embodiment of art imitating life, imitating art, and became the cornerstone and the foundation of my entire personal and professional relationship with Todd. In the summer of 2006, I was living in Southern California. Uh, we were friends, we've been friends for a long, long time, but he had come to LA to make a music video with like a a real music video company directors that were, you know, hit your marks and all that stuff. But I, I got to go star in that video. By the way, that video has disappeared off the internet completely. It's scrubbed. So if you shitheads could get together and go find it, because I know you're the only people on earth that can go, go find that video for us. I digress. I star in that video as a cashier and I quit my job and throw off my apron to go run off and party with Todd Snyder. And literally three months to the day later, which was unbeknownst to me at the time, I had quit my job and was on my way to Nashville to party with Todd Snyder. And once I got to town, uh, we made our critically acclaimed, internationally famous documentary film, Come to East Nashville, which inspired twos and threes of songwriters to move to this town. And then I stole those directors' jobs and made the rest of the videos for that record, Unbreakable, my debut as a video director, and then the Highland Street incident. Uh, mostly because with Todd, you can't direct Todd. You can't direct the chaos. You can only lean into the chaos. And that's what I've been doing for the late last 18 years. I've been leaning into the chaos and it has paid off in spades. Congrats on uh, this new release of this record, Todd. And here's to 18 more years of making art for the sake of making art. Love you.